Hello, I'm Lieutenant General Todd Seven, I-54 Chief of Engineers, and we're on the road again in Jacksonville with the Jacksonville District. Today we're in West Palm Beach, Florida, and I'm on about a four-day swing to be able to visit all the districts in the South Atlantic Division. And while we're going to talk to uh, uh, the leaders here of Jacksonville about the Everglades program, I first of all want to say a phenomenal job, Jason and Tim, to your, uh, your guys on the great storm here, the Hurricane Storm Matthew. We're going to talk about more of that on another On the Road to Begin video. But uh, the Jacksonville district was the first district that, uh, that addressed this storm and uh, continued to be able to uh, mitigate it as it continued to work its way up the East Coast. So today I am with uh, Colonel Jason Kirk and uh, Tim Murphy. Jason is the uh, district commander down here. Jason's running about a $16 billion program over about 30 years, which is really Everglades restoration. An awful lot of projects all put together. Jason, this is probably one of the most complex ex ecosystems in the world. I think this is actually the largest ecosystem restoration in the world. Um, can you tell our team a little bit about what this entails? Yes, sir. So we appreciate you visiting down here with the team of professionals in Jacksonville District. This is the nation's largest ecosystem restoration program. It's an interagency effort. It's got a lot of stakeholder support. We appreciate you engaging with that interagency team, with the state partners, and with environmental stakeholders. We've got a schedule here, Chief. We've been talking you through it. It goes out about 30 years wow. to 2032, speaks to that federal investment. Incredible program. It's all about getting the water right, the quality, quantity, timing, distribution. Critical to that, right in the center, is Lake Okeechobee. My DPM, my battle buddy, Tim's gonna to talk to you more about Lake Okeechobee. Okay. Yes, sir, thank you. Here, Lake Okeechobee, 143 mile dike goes all the way around the thing. It's called Herbert Hoover Dike. It was built World War II time, a little bit after. It's not necessarily in the best of shape, needs some work. What we have around this is 32 culverts, and these aren't culverts that you see around your driveway. These are culverts you can drive your truck through. We have 32 culverts that we're going to work. We also have almost 60 miles of what we call cutoff wall. That cutoff wall, in some places, is 70 feet deep. So it's not something that you just, you know, with a backhoe. We tried it with a backhoe and it didn't work. So what we have around it, and again, this lake is big. You can see this lake from space. So just want to make sure that everyone understands. 143 miles around, 32 culverts that have to be repaired, 50 miles of cutoff wall, all to protect, all to keep the water in this lake not from flooding these people down south. So listen, today I took about a three hour helicopter overflight of this entire area. Very, very impressed with a lot of work that's already been done, a lot of work that's ongoing, and we saw those different, uh, both the cutoff wall and the culverts that are in place, and uh, a lot of work that you guys have done down here. Jason, this is a very complex project. Uh, what do you see as maybe some of the biggest challenges or maybe the biggest opportunities in the years ahead? So it's keeping the momentum, keeping this interagency team, the state partnership strong. <clears throat> You know, and Jason talked about the team. Uh, you got a great team here in Jacksonville, and obviously the people here in West Palm, the people back in the Jacksonville district doing all the hard work. I want to thank you for your efforts. And I think the main thing that I would say is that I saw a lot of steel out there. I saw a lot of concrete out there, a lot of wetlands out today. Uh, there's a lot of different pieces of this complex thing. But the thing that's probably most important is the relationships. And that's what your district and your team has done very, very well. There's an Everglades coalition here, a great group of people a lot of people in the state of Florida that are all behind this. Some of these are local uh, nonprofit organizations, state organizations. And what I have seen is the collaboration that the Jacksonville District works side by side with them, spent all day today talking with a lot of those people to be able to make sure that we're on track, we're continuing to keep the momentum going. And as much as we want to continue to deliver this program, we know that we're going to be building strong, we're going to be delivering strong, and we're going to be Army strong. So to both of you, thanks for a job. Very, very well done. Next time, we're going to get off from the map, we're going to be down in the mud, and we're going to see you guys doing a great job. So thanks for a job well done. Thanks, sir. Oh, Jack Strong, sir. All right, good Jack Strong.